Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I release a legacy video every Friday. Hello everyone, Martin here back with another Doomsday video. Today I am playing a sort of dedicated Esper um, Marcus Ewald type Doomsday deck. Um, basically, I've been kind of wanting to do this since uh, Triumph was, I guess, spoiled. Um, and now Triumph is here, and I, I want to try it out. So, basically, this four goes green, you know, Edge of Autumn notwithstanding, um, to play three colors, and um, I want, I'm, I'm sort of heavy on uh, trying to have a good setup for Miracle, for the Miracle mechanic after sideboard, and also just you know, Mistress Bobble and Predict are kind of already cards that, that work in Doomsday. Um, so I have the one of Reanimate. This um, used to be Unearth and could still be Unearth, but I think Unearth is better when you are playing creatures in the main deck that it synergizes with outside of, of the, the Thassa. So like back in the day, we would play... Um, we would play Baleful Strix, but that doesn't really seem that that great in this Bowmaster's economy. So, uh, and reanimate. I mean, basically, this is under Earth that costs you two life, which is obviously not great, and it doesn't cycle. But it does let you just randomly pivot if your opponent is generous enough to like put uh, an interesting creature into their own graveyard. So. And we got to fairy, we got the whole like Esper gang. Once uh, we are paired against uh, like a tempo deck, we 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 sort of board out of being Doomsday and board into being Esper control. Um, I decided I wanted these three ley lines. This was originally this was a uh, dismember and two force of negation, and I kind of ended up settling on having enough versus the the red decks in the two blue elemental blasts and main deck forces and my own combo and um the white cards are also like not useless there and yeah i don't know i'm i'm, I'm sort of back and forth with force of negation i just feel like you know except for some specific uh like very specific things where you want to exile the thing you're countering, like Life from the Loam or Cabal Therapy, Faithless Looting. Um, I just feel like what what Force of Negation was meant to do was in in Doomsday sideboards was to like shore up your or improve your stompy matchups, and then as a, this is just my interpretation, you know, feel free to disagree. But then as a secondary sort of benefit it would sort of improve your combo matchup in whatever combo mirror you, you were in and i feel like it's sort of swapped roles a bit or it, like now it's primarily good against combo and and it's not because it's become better against combo there aren't like more combo than there were before i don't think it's more that like the stompy decks now a lot of their threats are creatures uh, I'm not just talking about Magus of the Moon here, but you know anything out of the initiative. Yeah, you can you can like Force of Negation the Chalice, and that's cool. But you can also just sit with a Force of Negation in your hand, and they put Archon of Emiria uh, onto the battlefield or whatever. Um, hardly fl you know breaking news, but just I'm just a little bit sort of uh, disaffected by by Force of Negation. I'm not sure. I mean, I think it's like I, I would still probably like to find two, like a room room for two copies, but um, as of right now, this is what I'm trying out. Um, I think like versus the the Riscaminator matchup, we basically board in everything except the two blue uh, blasts, and then we just trim the entire Doomsday package. Yeah. Um, Let's try this out. This is more of an experiment than anything else, but um, but yeah, let's give it a go. On the draw with uh, oof, this is tough. Um, 
I'm playing 17 lands and two petals, so that's 19. Um, we'll get to see two cards. So, like, it's a bit less than 50% for their, or somewhat less than 50% for there to be a land in the top card. I, I can't do the math for in the top two cards, but it, uh, I think, oh, do I, this is just so terrible if I, no, I'm, I'm a coward. I'm going to mulligan this. Yeah, much better. Keep this bottom of the cavern. And uh, let's go. All right, opponent kept seven. They are an underground sea deck too. And we are getting thought seized. So most likely this is the Scaminator deck. But of course it could be like the mirror or whatever. Could be storm. I think I'm just gonna drop this bauble here. I'm not gonna pop it now because I don't want to play into discard. Maybe I do pop it on their upkeep. Okay, I click through their upkeep. <laughs> Bummer. So this could be Bowmasters. This most likely is Bowmasters. Okay, I'm gonna fetch the under city sewers here. And get a little surveil action going. I guess I'll tell yeah. I don't know. Hmm. I think I'll actually put this on top of the deck. And I'm go oh, this is tough. Now I'm just gonna go for the draw here. And then I guess I'll play out my lotus petal and pass. See if they wanna cast the Oh, masters, guess not. Okay, I am going to bobble them now. They can fetch if they want, but then that's a fetch they don't have for Brainstorm. Okay. So we saw Force of Will, but um, they decided to fetch. So green makes me think it's the, the, the Scaminator deck. And there's a Wasteland. Okay, let's see. Is it Bow Time? Bow Time. <laughs> Looks like they... Okay, so they are... Uh, wasting me here. I'm gonna f cycle the edge of autumn. Normally, like depending on how much my how many lands I have, I prefer not to do this. Um, I guess I'll brainstorm with the floating mana. I have forced to fight over Robo Masters if they've been like very conservative here. Okay, they cycle Lord Real in response. Go ahead. There's a daze. Um, I guess I'll not fight over this. Um, what did they reveal? They got an underground sea. Okay, so their hand is underground sea, tropical island, and then two, three cards. We don't know. Land. I am actually gonna pop this. Um, this uh, lore revealed here. Hope they don't have stifle. That would be very brutal. And I think I have to get the island here. I have to, but. I'm going to go get the island. We're sort of a million miles away from casting Doomsday, but I guess I will take these. Um, <laughs> four of a kind, huh? I'm going to force, I think, whatever they cast here and just hope they don't have a daze, like another daze. Um, if they have, then I probably just lose. Okay, they didn't have that. They do have, they have three cards that are cards and then one land, like three unknown cards in the land. Uh, yeah, I guess I will. I think this is the Bug Beanstalk deck and I think that means it just it plays like one or two Thoughtseize at most. Um, so I, I'm not too concerned about getting Thoughtseize, but even if I were to get Thoughtseize, I'd probably prefer losing the Doomsday than the Lauren Revealed right now. Okay. That's, I believe, the Underground Sea we saw them uh, cycle or reveal for. 
Okay, I'm going to cycle Lorian Revealed. And I guess the take here is an underground sea, even though I would like that meticulous archive to get a bit of surveil action going. All right, there's another land. Um, and, oh, well, getting closer. I wonder what they what they're sitting on. They maybe they. Oh, I don't think I can afford to force this. However much I would like to. Oh no! Come on. Yeah. All right, you got it. That was the draw, either off the beanstalk or yeah, third draw step. So I'm gonna brainstorm here and. Oh, I kind of like all of these cards. As much as I would love to predict something, I think actually I would prefer it to get Teferi into play. Teferi is quite nice uh, with, the, with the Beanstalk, like if we can sneak it in, because it, it turns off all of their uh, counterplay. Like, oh no, sorry, all their counter spells, and Force of Will is like how they... That's one way they can sort of maximize on it. All right, let's see here. They have five mana, eight mana if it's a delve spell. It might just be like a uh, Lorna Revealed. So I think I have to force this. I don't think I can afford them to draw three. And um, we shall see if they are able to counter my Teferi. If they are, then it is kind of not great and probably means we lose. So get the scrubland, play to fairy. Pretty please. Oh, uh, they had the days. All right, I'm going to concede to that. Uh, we're not going to win this. The uh, We're of kind of already lost with the card advantage uh, on their side. They have the beans, so yep. Um, all right. I think I will actually approach this in the same way that I would approach uh, a, a tempo deck. Not sure about the ley lines, though, because they, quote-unquote, only shut off um, the Merc Tides. I don't think we want that. But let's uh, cut the LED and cut the Consider. Let's uh, cut all of the rituals and all, I guess all the doomsdays? Well no, um, how about cut some cyclers, cut two copies of doomsday. We still have the petals to get to three black, like petals and some number of underground sea slash undercity sewers and scrublands and whatever. We want like one dark ritual. It's just going to come up and be so awkward. Is one dark ritual better than one lotus petal? Maybe. Yeah, let's try that. Ugh, I do really miss having like carpet of flowers in this type of matchup. If uh, I'm going to keep it, it's uh, it's risky for sure. Uh, if they wasteland that sewers, but the. The bobble plus the surveil here should at least give us some hope of like landing another land. I'm not gonna bobble right now. Again, if they like go to run thoughtsies or whatever, there's no reason. Okay, no wasteland, so that's important. Um, why don't we bobble them? Actually, no. Let's wait because. Unless they cycle or reveal, we're gonna know what their draw is gonna be if, like, okay, they choose not to shuffle. All right, let's bobble, bobblicious, scalding tarn. Okay, gotta redraw. There's that dark ritual, huh? Oh, gross. I'm gonna island cycle for a tundra and pass the turn. Okay, what do you got? There's the Tarn we knew about. Just like, pretty please draw land here. 
Uh, it's not a land. It's not nothing. Alright, I'm gonna play this to be able to cast Bowmasters under a, uh, like, through a daze. And, I mean, yeah, let's, uh, let's try this. If this draws out of force, that's, that's okay. Or that's pretty, pretty decent, I guess. Days, huh? I mean, I'm gonna pay. This is worth the pedal. If they have a second days, then it's days. But then, like, they have, uh, they will have zero lands in play. And their brainstorm will be worse. Yep. All right. So we both traded equally on cards. They might have the cycler to get get the shuffle anyways with the floating blue mana, which is nice for them. But I don't mind them not having a land in play. But we still need to like we need to to keep hitting lands. Yeah. Oh, the surgical the bowmasters. Okay. There's one of those left. Um, but that's fortunately for us, it's not in our hand. But now they they get to see what's up. They get to see. Yeah, not that many doomsdays. So in this in this match here after sideboard, I think it, it does come down a lot to like card uh I guess economy and them sort of throwing a card out, quote unquote. Like this this surgical didn't remove anything from my hand, so it's like they're down a card. Ah, they have to waste land. They probably go for the tundra here, I would guess. Land? Nope, just Probably the worst card. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Well, I mean, I suppose we could just draw one of the Doomsdays now. Thankfully, not a second Wasteland. How about a Meticulous Archive here? Or a Cantrip? That costs one mana? Uh, just have the Beanstalk here? Or the Bowmasters? Oh, no, it's a uh, Murktide. They're tapping in a Murktide way. Okay. So, we need to hit... A land, like right now. That cast plowshares. Nope, that's not it. Okay, gonna pass. And throw away the Thassa's Oracle. Yeah, I now feel super behind. Even if we hit the land right now, I don't feel confident they won't just <laughs> fuck off. They won't just, uh, like, have a force for it. Yeah, that's it. And now we we go to discard and we have to draw land and they have to not be able to counter it to get one more turn after this. And I keep saying draw draw land. I obviously it needs to be able to cast uh, the plows. So there aren't that many. There are like well the fetch lands and then a scrub land. Yeah, I'm sure this day, this brainstorm is going to resolve, right? They could have bowmasters here. They're doing something. Yep, yeah. GGs. Yeah, I feel like I just just completely got wrecked by a sort of wonky mana base. I feel like uh, I, w I wanted to play a game with a deck that wanted, like my game plan kind of wanted my deck to have like more lands. But yeah, I don't know. Well, let's go and see how round number two goes. Okay, on the play for round number two. And yeah, I'll keep this. I will, um, hmm. I guess I will surveil in the uh, the meticulous archive, and I don't think that I want another land because we have the Lorne revealed and another land in hand. They have a wasteland. All right. I'm not ready to play the coward's game here. I'm gonna fetch an underground sea. And just say, what's up? And I've got another wasteland. I don't care. 
Uh, especially now that I was able to draw another land. <laughs> All right. Yeah, bring it on. Bring it on, sucker. I guess I will play around Stifle. I know that they can just Stifle my Lauren Revealed, but then I at least have an Underground Sea in play, and they can't both Wasteland and hold up Stifle next turn. Got a third Wasteland, huh? Okay. So, some form of Demir Tempo deck. They kept the card on top. Okay, I'm going to cycle this. So, immediately, we our thoughts were drawn towards... Ew. Um, our thoughts are drawn towards the... Um, the oh, sorry, my train of thought is all over the place here. Um, the Riscamineer deck or the Bug Beanstalk deck. I suppose it could be Grixis. Um, but I'm gonna surveil the shit out of this. And, oof, I don't know. Yeah, I think I will take this Polluted Delta because um, we want Scrubland to have access to both the third black and white for Teferi. Okay. Troll of Khazadum is cycled. Grief me. Hmm. Yeah, you can grief me. <laughs> what was pitched? Uh, another troll. There goes Force of Will. And, yeah. I guess they'd probably take Doomsday here, would be my guess. Or Teferi, one of those. So I'm going to take my draw step here, and then I'm going to brainstorm. I'm not going to play Teferi into a daze when I don't have to. Uh, no, thank you, LED. I'll lose one of the, the revealeds. Um, I guess I'll play the bobble. All right, we we we're we're really poorly set up to deal with bowmasters right now. But if they don't have bowmasters, maybe I take three. I'm down to fifteen. They're just passing. Smells like bowmasters. So I'm gonna cycle and get a tundra. Uh, yeah. And I'll pass. Or not pass, I'll take my turn. What are you talking about? Uh, I think I will play the pedal. In case they somehow have like double days. Ruin my day. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I think I will fetch Scrubland here to be able to leave up a blue mana. Um, in case they have the Bowmasters, I can then, like, brainstorm. At least not get trapped with my brainstorm in hand. Oh, no way, you had Bowmasters. Yeah, I think I just lost this. Um, we can bounce the Bowmaster. Like, none of this is nice to bounce, right? Yeah. All right, off to the sideboard. And here, I think I do want the, the black ley lines. So ev like, this is what I was talking about before the, like in the deck tech, everything but the blue guards in the sideboard come in and we just start, just start like committing doomsday genocide here. Cut everything that even smells like a doomsday. Um, I guess maybe like the petals are actually our friend here. What's better, petal number two or consider as just like a bad cantrip? 
I guess I think consider is better. I don't know though. Oh, we got so fucked on lands before. Maybe actually the um the consider can go. All right. So as we learned, we really need to prioritize the mana here. But now we also have ley lines in the deck, and we get a pretty like pretty good hand considering the ley line. They mulligan to six. Hopefully this ley line can muck them up. Basically, this means grief is always just card negative. Um, yeah. Probably we play the flooded strand and get a surveil. I know that means we can't brainstorm profitably. But uh, maybe that's okay. Maybe we want to save the brainstorm for a certain cath. Okay, let's get um, let's ha let's actually get meticulous archive here. It's not just because we have uh, a white card in hand. When we'll look at that, so I'm gonna have to try and hit this quickly. Let's not reveal it. Maybe that was quick enough. Who knows? Um, I don't know. Like I really want to cycle lorn reveal to make sure i have a third land for when i'm trying when i'm going to try and set up triumph but i also really don't want to get dazed i think i'm gonna brainstorm on their upkeep we might also like oh actually this is when we do it right let's cycle they can't daze this brainstorm um They can, of course, force it if, if they were so inclined. Okay, let's uh, put back, um, reanimate, and I mean, uh, yeah, no, we'll put back the triumph. If they wasteland this meticulous archive, we have we drew the second brainstorm, and then it's not like the end of the world, and we have, if not, like we have double force to to get it through. All right, let's see what, if anything, is going to go into the void here. Yep, Wasteland into the void. That's a bit scary. It's either because they already have Wasteland or... Wow. What? Okay, there's a Brainstorm. Yeah, I was going to say, like, if you don't have a land, wouldn't you just rather take a Wasteland? I mean, I have a juicy Wastelandable target here. No? I think I do f double force this. Um, double force to protect this. Okay, no days from them. That's pretty good. Force pitch force. I think I force pitch brainstorm here. And then hope that this Teferi can do more work. Yay, it's in. All right. I mean, even if they have removal for this, it comes back. Um, and I don't know what, like, how much removal they would have. Like, Brazen Borrower would be really annoying. Um, so they have mana now to cast Bowmasters. Uh, huh. I guess Reanimate only gets my own stuff now because of ley line yeah i think i'm gonna just attack here and not like cast this to fairy into like if they if their draw step actually got them a um a daze or if they just have bow masters it's not so great for us well there's a wasteland are they going to use it it would appear as though they aren't so I, what I want to do here is fetch the flats to get Undercity Sewers on their end step and try and get another blue card and then, you know, try and get Teferi in. But I mean, this Kath is pretty much just taking them to Pound Town. 
all on her own. All right, they concede. Cool. So now the difficult third game, once the sideboard juke is known and we're on the draw, how does this impact us? I don't know. I think I think I just resubmit, to be honest. Oh, wow. I hadn't... Yeah, no, no, that was the last opponent that saw some copies of Doomsday. Yeah, I'm not going to have any copies of Doomsday whatsoever. Just going to resubmit this. And, uh, and hope... Hope for another good one with uh, Leyland of the Void and uh, six very good cards. Nope. Do we keep this? They kept their seven. Um, we're not gonna get them with this with, with this reanimate. Um, I th think. Oh God! Yeah, no, I think I'm gonna mulligan this. I'm gonna keep this and bottom the bobble. Yeah. There was a world where I'm supposed to bottom the force, maybe. Maybe I got too hasty on that one. Meanwhile, they're over there, probably like sighing with relief. That there's no ley line. Oh, okay. That's not so scary. They choose to shuffle, right? I will choose to Thoughtseize. Um, okay, so Dothy, we don't really care about our own graveyard that much. Um, I think I would like to not get griefed if I can help it. Yeah, I'm going to uh, put the grief into the graveyard. Now let's watch them rip a uh, reanimate. Oops, I clicked the wrong card. They have these three plus a force of negation. Guessing this is the Dothy? Yeah. All right. Hopefully we can find an answer to Dothy before the game passes us by. Bowmasters isn't quite it, but Bowmasters versus this Brainstorm is kind of appealing. So let's try this. We really, we really hope they don't have... Um, oh, okay. What's this? Float a black mana and then surveil with Undercity Sewers, sure. Uh, what's the black mana? Is this another Dothy? Oh, Animate Dead. Hmm. So I think I... I think I force pitch... Uh, Brainstorm, and then hopefully they force back. I would like that anyways. Yeah, so they force pitch Brainstorm. And then I Orcish Bowmasters. And then I'm not sitting too comfortable, but at least, you know, it's not the end of the world. And a bunch of my good stuff went into the graveyard or into the void with a counter on it. Now they have a two two and a two three. And they get to take my predict. And they have Yeah. They have a force of negation as their last card in hand. I'm really like I would love a white mana. Oh sorry, yeah, something that makes white and then my white cards to show up. Okay, I'm not going to complain about a brainstorm. Uh, okay. My life total might end up mattering, but I also like don't want to put in come into play tap lands if I can help it. Uh, yeah, just going to pass. How about if this flooded strand which is going to become a uh, meticulous archive shows us a uh, a cath on top. And meanwhile, they just never draw Bowmasters. How about that? You don't want Cavern of Souls, that's for sure. All right. Well, I think we might just have to trade with the with the the grief here. 
uh, trade off our board, which, you know, it's not great. Yeah, let's hope they don't have, like, oh, they have bow masters. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, well, life just became harder. I'm not sure if Kath even stabilizes here if we were to draw her. I'll be at four if I fetch. And then, like, let's say next turn they attack me down to one. Then I attack. And if they just, you know, I, I gain five, I'm up to six. And then they have, like, they have more than that. So I would have to, like, also draw. Like, maybe if I draw running Kaths here. There's uh there's some there's a chance, but uh, I'm not not too hopeful. Uh come on. Kath. It's not Kath. Kath underneath. And two of them, please. Nope. Alright, GG's. On the play for round number three. Uh yeah, let's try this out. And I'm going to fetch a basic island here and cast a ponder. Maybe I'll actually bobble my opponent first to see if I can get a an indication of what they're playing and know how to, like, that will inform my, my ponder. What's this? Forest. Yep. Okay. So that means it's not scam. Uh... I think I shuffle these. I already have these cards in my hand. Ooh. Immediately, I am excited. And I even draw land. Yes, please. Okay, Windswift, Heath, and Forest. So this, like, Endurance could be in this deck. The Heath makes me think it's not like a Beanstalk deck. Especially not when it's a 60 card, like no Yorion, because I think they would run out of blue fetches first, like with Flood of Strands and Misty Rainforest and stuff. It could still be that, but I'm not going to play like it is. I'm going to try and win on the spot here. Johnny on the spot. Let's see. This is usually where Force of Will gets cast if they have it. Okay. And I am not going to play around... Endurance. There simply are so very few endurances in main decks currently that I don't think it's correct to do so. Um, we shall see if I am punished. I guess I do get to put like a blank in the pile. I guess I'll put a, uh, a dark ritual in the pile. Because if they are an injured stack, then we can recast Doomsday at some point. Okay, so we draw. We cycle. Uh, we, we just cast the Brainstorm, put back Dark Ritual and Consider, and then blah, blah, blah. I think you could make a genuine argument to make a slower pile, also just to glean information, but then you do risk other things. All right, let's put back um, the dark ritual and the consider. Okay. I mean, if they endure us, it's going to be a while before we uh, <laughs> before we get to cast Doomsday. Also, what am I talking about? If they endure us, uh, we we can't get the uh, the Thassa back in in hand. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. So forest and windswept heath, heath, snow covered forest, no less. This doesn't seem like a matchup where we want either triumph or bowmasters. Could potentially be a matchup where we wouldn't be sad to have some creature removal. So maybe these three can come in. Maybe we cut a uh, Teferi and a Flusterstorm. Spellpierce can still, like, if it is like a, a sort of a Savannah type deck, like a, a Maverick or 
green white, green white depths. Spell Pierce could like hit a Sylvan Library or a Green Sun Zenith or something, which wouldn't be terrible. Um, I think I'm gonna cut the reanimate though. I don't feel like going off with through my graveyard post board. Well, I'm gonna keep this. It has the card that's the name of the deck. I mean, all right, and opponent mulligans to six cards. They have a white ley line, okay. Another forest. Oh, it's oh, it's a enchantress. Okay. This is a deck that sometimes play, like, like the world of of enchantments is is vast and weird, and a lot of them we don't really like get to see very often in Legacy. Uh, I mean, I'm just going to keep this, and, uh, yeah, they could have, like, what, what they could have that would be annoying would be, like, Deafening Silence right now. Let's see. Something, something, enchantment. Yeah, they have two cards in hand, and now they have another two cards in hand, and unless one of them is Endurance and the other one is a green card, or if... They have surgical. We get to just win here, so I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Not sure. Like, you always have to ask yourself, why did the opponent keep this hand? And it could be they kept it because of endurance, but I think they kept it because of leyline. Plus, it was a functioning hand, and they they just overval they put like overvalued what uh what leyline of sanctity does versus us. And um, so I'm, I'm sort of putting them on not having any interaction in hand. But we shall see. And fortunately, we built the deck to still be able to do this, to like win on the same turn with low resources. Even though we are like a bit, a bit of a janky, like Esper, Teferi predict pile. All right, let's see if my instincts are correct. Let's put back the archive and cons okay, yeah, no, they concede. All right, all right, on the board. Let's uh, go for number four. On the play for number four, let's uh, go. Yeah, I'm gonna keep this. It promises a great many things. Let's put in the survey land. <clears throat> I think we can. No, I think I'll I'll actually keep this on top. Uh oh, human. Oh no. Yeah, no. This is. Uh, I'm gonna counter this. I think just a tiny thing. If you're this, if you're on the other side of this strategy, you want to play the Chromox first and then. Not let the uh, force of will opponent know that their force of will is going to be useless uh, in like any any moment. Okay, I'm gonna cycle Street Wraith. Just if we hit a, a Doomsday, I won't, you know we can cast it, and it you know digs our us a card deeper for the brainstorm. Okay, now like brainstorm plus Doomsday in the in the top uh, three cards um, get us gets us the win. Ah, oh, damn. Um, <clears throat> I guess we uh, put away a dark ritual and the tundra. Like they put this on human. Who knows if like they probably just have an ancient tomb and then are happy to move on with the rest of their day. But if they have another chrome mox or like they might play something non-human that we want to counter. So. I guess I should have played the pedal. Like, if they no, they can't put an archon into play. So, okay, that's not three mana. Do they have the spirit guide? They don't have the spirit guide. Okay, come on, meticulous archive. Show me, show me doomsday or a cantrip. I think those are the cards I'm most interested in. Potentially, a um, a teferi, but. Nah. Bobble. 
Um, I mean, so if I take Bobble and I Bobble them, and then I draw Predict. <clears throat> Then it's cool. That's the line. Let's see what they're drawing. They're drawing a chrome box. Well, guess what's getting force of willed. I guess they might have the third land. So come on, predict one time. Okay, Teferi. I'll take it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. <laughs> okay. Is this uh, Caves of Chaos Adventurer? It is. This is an adventurer that likes to explore Caves of Chaos. So I'm going to probably Teferi Bounce. Yeah, you can have the Chrome Marks now. I'm okay with that. Fourth Air Lingus. Yep. Um, hmm. So I think Play to Fairy Bounce Caves of Chaos Adventure is still fine. It means they. So they get to scry next turn. But that means they don't get to go into the trap when they re redeploy it, or they have to just not like get anything out of the second ability. I need to find Doomsday fast, though. I'm not sure how I'm beating this uh, Caves of Chaos Adventure sort of in the long run. So that means they cast it now, they get they go into the stash, then on their next turn they get the 4-1. It has Summoning Sickness. I feel like I have this turn, like this upcoming draw step to, uh, to find Doomsday. Oh, wait. Am I getting to... Am I going to get to counter something here? Oh, that would be huge. Like, if they don't replay him now. Yeah. Uh, he flew too close to the sun, my friend. I'm going to pitch this other force. I think these two cantrips are better served now. Oh, no, wait, what's this? Oh, Archon, get the fuck out of here. Wow, that was gross. Yep. <laughs> Kind of wish I had um, not <laughs> done that. <laughs> okay, so Teferi pluses. I think I'm going to thought seize them in their in their uh, in their draw step. I I think I've lost this game though. Even though I I get to take the uh, Caves of Chaos Adventure. Well, there's Doomsday, but I mean, I'm like a million miles away from casting it because of the Archon. Let's just do the math here. Let's say that I take the Doomsday. And then I... They, they still have the initiative. So, we pass. I drop to 13 from Thoughts using their Caves of Chaos Adventure. Let's say that's the only relevant card they have. They beat me down to 11. I draw land. I pass. They beat me down to 9. I draw another land. I am at, what, 9 in this? Or did I miss a, a combat step? That that could still, like, be enough. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to take the Doomsday. Things will have to uh, work out pretty well perfectly for me and I don't expect them to. Oh I think I missed the four damage on the on the skeleton, right? Did I miss a skeleton? They don't get a skeleton until next turn and then can't attack like until another turn. Alright, let's uh let's see. They probably just have like more threats, so in which case it's it's over. Hey <laughs> Yep. All right, GGs. Let's uh, jump into the sideboard. Um, so I definitely want the blue blasts. I think they are like a Charles of the Void deck. I think uh, prismatic ending is fine. Question is like, 
do we want to try not be a doomsday deck? I, th I think, like, at least on the play, like, doomsday is still, like, dark ritual doomsday is still probably the strongest play we have. Uh, maybe we want, like, four, these four cards. And I think we can get rid of the fluster storm. And we can get rid of, uh, I don't think this is a, a matchup, like, th th this is the plan I'm going for, right? The fast, I want to be faster right now, so I don't think we're going to be, like, predicting, like, taking turn after turn, predicting stuff. If I wanted to be that deck, I would want more removal to make sure the, the game sort of can go longer. And might, if I, if we do get a game three, I might try and pivot for that. Um, so I think in that sense, we can also cut one of the baubles. And then, uh, is there any world? Yeah, I guess reanimate could be kind of cool. Like if we, if we can like thought seize caves of chaos adventure and then the reanimate it, that'd be kind of sick. Yeah, I think I like that. I think I'll cut a to fairy. Um, it's just sort of side graded into like these spot removal spells. All right, Dark Ritual Doomsday Land, three card combo. Well, we got two of the three. I'm gonna keep. And I'm just like, so very much gonna hope they don't chalice for one me here. Yeah. I think I just, I play the bobble here. I think I do. I, I think I'll save it actually. If we were to find Doomsday, the bobble is pretty sweet. To like, because we, we likely will have to pass the turn, but then having a stored draw is really good. And I do kind of like that we have these two removal spells here. Just please don't Charles of the Void me and make me into a two card hand. Make my five card hand to to two card hand. Please and thank you. Ooh, pass. Alright, I'm going to crack this for an undercity sewers. And a second bobble. Don't think we need that. I think I will probably draw now, looking for some action. So they have a planes coming. I draw another land and a force of will. Hmm. Guess I will play the polluted delta and have the meticulous archives for real ready if need be. It says Magus. It says Magus. Mm. So it's between getting my surveil and he and holding up force. I think I I am just gonna get my surveil and then I can always like blue blast or hydro blast with the snow covered island. Um, like if I can find a doomsday here, that would be pretty sweet. Nah, I don't want street wraith. Though, like street wraith, nah, nah, I'm not gonna race them. Okay. Yep, you've got a magus. Doomsday one time. Yeah, another blue card is not the worst. All right, Max of the Moon go boom boom. And if they have second Magus here, we can float white off of the archive. Okay, so now they're losing their City of Traitors. I have to assume this is a initiative creature. Yeah. All right, so they gain the initiative, so they get to immediately get. A third land anyways uh, yeah I've dilly dallied too long here I think if unless I draw some action right now uh, it's probably gonna be too late because they have that fucking cavern right they just like gonna drop more more humans
Alright. Alright, alright. So they go into the lost well here and get a nice little scry too. Do they have something to put me out of my misery? On I'm gonna... Yeah, I am gonna force this. I'm gonna pitch another force. I could pitch, pitch the dark ritual. Yeah, I think they have a four drop and which they can just cast next turn, so who, who cares? Oh, they have Spirit Guide? Yeah, they had a Spirit Guide. Ha ha ha. So, uh, yeah, this is not going too well for us. All right, you are the monarch. This is suddenly a monarchy, and I am a loyal subject. Paying the tax of a card in return. Yeah, all right, whatever. GG's. So, one and three. Well, let's see if we can uh, recover a little bit of, of, of the lost pride in the final round. On the play for the final round, that's four out of five dice roll. Uh, one, so there is that. All right, I'm going to keep this uh, cool predict hand and um, see how we go. Meanwhile, the opponent is mulliganing to six. So we have the choice between like this flooded strand getting a basic island and having our basic setup, or not playing in fear of wasteland and getting like a surveil. I think in either case, I probably am gonna end up using this brainstorm to set up this predict. I could do that as early as this turn. And I think I might just wanna do that. Um, let's see here. Dark Ritual Oppo Agent is a play that could happen right now. It didn't happen. Basic Swamp, though. How often does that get you Wasteland? Nah. It could. Alright, end of turn Brainstorm. So, let's put away... Okay, so we're going to be drawing one of these for our draw step, and then predicting away the other one. So maybe we predict away a bobble. How about that? Not sure if the reanimate is going to do anything for us here, but this is a, like potential. Okay, bobble and then reanimate. All right, and I'll pass. I don't need to do this right now. Oh, there's an island. It's the basic land mirror. Oh, bummer. Um, hmm. Yeah. Now, I'm not really interested in losing to a Bowmasters here, which is what they're representing. Maybe I'll just take my Bobble. And I can always use it at sort of instant speed. If they put down their Bowmasters parade. Okay, well, I'm going to bobble them. And please don't show me a big creature. Ponder, okay. So I'm going to predict away the ponder. Let's see, if they date this, then I might just let it go and then force the bowmasters. But I get to ponder here, or rather predict. I draw, and I'm going to force this um, I'm going to force this Bowmasters and then I can reanimate it next turn if um, if I'm lucky I draw from my bobble it's another land, that's good they might just reanimate this Bowmasters right now okay like the dream here is for them to cast like Entomb and put a Traxa into, into the graveyard or something. Oh, their brainstorm locked. That means they, they could have like another cantrip that they're, you know, planning on casting next turn. Ooh, another predict A. And I got my surveil land right there. All right, first things first. All right, Bowmasters is in. I took two. And now they're taking one. Okay, they're passing. With seven cards in hand. It's a little bit concerning. 
but I'm going to be playing around days this whole time, uh, which is is good. All right, and whatever is on top, I probably keep it there. Oh, it's a brainstorm. Now I still think I just predict away the the brainstorm here. If they have a bowmasters and if it resolves, then like casting brainstorm is well one card worse, one point of damage worse. Ah, we just get to do this. They must be breaking pretty hard over there. I think I do ponder here. Or actually, maybe not. Maybe I just... Uh, I cast Lor or Cycle or Lorien Rebuild. Yeah, I think I do that. I think I take another Tundra just to be able to make sure I can cast a fairy next turn. Yep. I am gonna attack here. I think if they had the Bowmasters, they would have, they would have cast it by now. There's an Entomb. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's uh, see if it pays off in the face of the Reanimate. Nah, I mean, I, I get that. If they were to get Archon, I might entertain letting it resolve. The uh, the animation spell they're gonna be putting into this. But I'm, I'm going to fight it, and I just really hope they aren't able to fight back. Oh, they are. Bummer. Okay. They force-pitched force. But now they likely are able to discard our... Uh, yeah, ugh, fuck me. Yeah, it was looking so sweet. We did a lot of predict. And then we just got, like, ram-fisted by the power gauntlet of this st stupid deck. Ugh. Okay, what do they keep? There's always the chance of a rip here. They didn't find a uh, counterspell. The problem is... Um, okay. Grief and Tomb, Enemy Dead, Trop. The problem is that they can just, like, I, I can't even rip a Doomsday here. Let's say they grief my Teferi. I can't rip a Trop, oh, sorry, a Doomsday here because, like, they have me dead on the swing back from the Atraxa. I think I I pretty much have to uh, rip another Teferi for this to to be fruitful. So now their hand is enemy dead. Uh, plus what? Plus ponder. They don't take the Teferi. That's really interesting. I guess if they have a black land, they can just... No, they they played the Trop, right? Okay, so they, they don't want to ponder because of Bowmasters? Hmm. And would you look at that? Well... Let's uh, let's try this out. Teferi's just in. Um, we have to play and just risk them having like another Bowmasters. Um, yeah, I mean these cards aren't aren't terrible. Unfortunately, uh, Flusterstorm doesn't counter Anime Dead. So they are going to get to put um, Grief back into play here. But I mean, I think as long as they don't get another Bowmasters, um, we might be able to stabilize this. Yeah, I don't... I think... We got lucky there. They didn't take the Teferi. But I guess I don't know the, what's what's in their hand. They might just steamroll us now. They have eight cards in hand. Oh, pondering. What doesn't ponder dies. And what dies ponders into Bowmasters and grows Tarmogoyf. Something, something. Okay, they choose not to shuffle. That's not so good. Okay. They have their own Bowmasters. 
I think I stacked my top of the deck wrong. I think um, I think I'm drawing a brainstorm now and not the Teferi. Well, we, we shall see. This is, they also have a green splash, by the way. This is not the uh, standard Demir Riskaminator. They're already branching out to beat the mirror by I don't know, playing Veil Summer. So, okay, they are having a hard time tapping their mana. Just not Bowmasters. Okay, Petty Theft. Petty Theft um, on the Orc Army. If you care enough about this Orc Army, I'm going to care enough about Petty Theft. Okay, Petty Theft is countered. They've made their land drop. I don't know that they can do anything else here. And if Brainstorm finds us a black mana source... No, it needs to be two black mana sources. Yikes. And we know the top card is another Teferi. Uh, maybe I'm supposed to wait with this Brainstorm, but... Okay, so... I'm going to put back uh, Doomsday and Teferi. And then I probably will predict away the Teferi. Although maybe that's dumb. Because then I'll just draw Doomsday plus a random card and their animate dead is going to get me. Oh, did I remember to plus the Teferi? Yeah, I think I did. Yeah, I did. That's just one one of my like one of the things I hate the most is like if I uh if I end up um forgetting like a planeswalker activation, I hate that. That is actually something that can also happen in, in paper, right? Like most of the things that go wrong in, in Magic Online, like you know, you you forget, you click through combat by by accident, or you click through your entire turn by accident. Those are never going to happen in, in paper. But um, what's this? Four mana. Is this is a hard cast grief. Yeah. Okay. Change plans. Um, they just get to take my predict here, and I, I draw to fairy, bounce the grief, and I win. And we all rejoice. Uh, plus it's fairy. You know, in case I misclick on which to fairy to keep or whatever. All right, they concede. Sweet. All right, we somehow. Oh, and they just concede. Wait, that was game one, right? Um. Yeah, that was game one. They just had enough. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so status. Um, I didn't feel too good, I have to say. Um, I feel like it, it, it was actually most evident in this final round. It, maybe maybe that's, you know, wrong uh, for you to put it that way, but it felt most uh sort of a thing here where I actually got to do what the deck wants to do. I like I got to like predict cast break several times utilizing bobbles, utilizing uh surveil lands and all this stuff. And I even reanimated their bowmasters and I it still I think came down to a punt on their part that I didn't lose anyways because hey, they just had the reanimate package. So the 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 reanimator package so they just got Atraxa into play and if they grief the Teferi out of my hand instead of the Dark Ritual um, I don't think we're recovering then I think we just lose it's obviously not the most important or obvious sort of misplay but but I I think it was like I think we my point is I think we probably by law of averages if, if we play this game a bunch of times we lose it even though we got to do all the stuff that we wanted to do um, I missed green I have to say I, I also missed like I think it, it's just become so sort of uh, ingrained in me playing with Teferi and Doomsday that I also have the one ring I kind of see those two as they kind of go together like there are games where you like 
you draw a bunch of cards with a one ring and you get kind of uh, it becomes problematic with your life total but then you find a Teferi and you bounce the ring and replay and you get another sort of time walk with the protection and stuff and it just like I, I guess all, I felt I felt a little bit threat light in this there were like at least once in this league and maybe more than once where I was like okay I like I had a doomsday on turn one or like in my opening hand that got discarded and I'm like drawing to three more doomsdays I don't have any more action don't have personal tutor don't have the one ring that felt a little bit not great um I don't think Triumph really got to do a lot in this uh, in this league. I'm struggling to remember if I even got to put a Triumph into play. Maybe I <laughs> I can't remember. Um, but yeah, but I mean, well, it's still like I, I, there's a lot of cool cards. I, I do really like playing with Bobble. I think Bobble in Doomsday is like generally just like a really good card. And with Bobble, Predict also becomes a pretty good card, as we saw in this final final round. I just don't know that the time is right for this. Uh, yeah, I think we also saw like what the, that one game versus uh, the Riskaminer deck, where we had Leyline of the Void, and uh, just got the perfect Leyline opening with like Leyline plus six good cards. Um, it was pretty good. And then we didn't, like, we were about to mulligan down to five in game number three, which, you know, I, I don't think can ever be defended um, in this type of matchup, at least. Maybe if it was, like, Oops All Spells or something, or Dredge, but go down to five to find the... And we only have the three. We don't even have four in the sideboard. So, yeah, not too sure about that tech versus that deck, but... um. But yeah. But okay, that's it for me. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that uh, YouTube stuff, and I'll see you next Friday.